Welcome, well wires. 3DS was the first system that got me hooked onto gaming. I had other consoles at the time, but 3DS was the first one I got 50 hours out of one game on. Because of this, I hold my little handheld close to my heart. When I read that 3DS was officially out of production, my heart shattered. So, I decided to dedicate this video and the rest of October towards the 3DS and how it changed my life in a positive way. There were quite a few models of the 3DS. The launch edition was the same size as the DS, but had loads more features and power. The 3DS XL came not long after with a bigger screen, longer battery life, and a bigger price tag. I upgraded the XL shortly after launch, and if you were to get one today, I highly recommend going for the XL. Then the 2DS launch, which was a 3DS that didn't fold and had no 3D. Then came the new 3DS and new 3DS XL, which had all new hardware making it easier for software to run, and the new 2DS XL, which was the same thing but without the 3D. It's a little confusing, but they kept improving this little device and making it more accessible to everybody. The portability of the system is a huge plus. No matter what system you got, it was extremely easy to bring around. It's one of the sole reasons I usually bring my 3DS places instead of my Switch. It's smaller, lighter, has the same games, and has the same battery life. Oh, and let me tell you, when I say long battery life, I am not exaggerating. I lost my 3DS XL for two years with all my games, and when I came back to the console when it was in rest mode, it only lost 25% battery. Really, the only reason I love and still use my 3DS is because of how portable and cheap it is compared to the Switch, which is a huge benefit if you want to bring it with you on a car trip. But why was this system, out of all things, sold for so long? You might think it wouldn't have much power after 7 years. Well, that's where you're wrong. I don't know how they did it, but they got Captain Toad, Xenoblade Chronicles, and Minecraft to run on this thing. What were console games at the time of their release were ported to the 3DS and looked nearly identical. Some of the graphics for the system still blow me away. Even at that, games like Shovel Knight still look like they were designed on this thing. I'm always blown away on how good games look on this, and I feel like the power of the system helped it last longer than it should have. But what's a console without good games? Well, the 3DS is jam-packed with them. Want to play older games? Virtual Console is on here. Want to play DS games? Backwards compatibility was available. Want to play new games? There was a wide selection to choose from. Don't want to spend money? Play demos and the preloaded software. There is such a big variety of games that it makes the Wii U look like nothing. Nowadays, the 3DS games are fairly cheap so you can get any of the big first party games for about $20. Games like Pokemon, Mario, Animal Crossing, and Zelda are easier to find today, but if you don't want to leave your house, you can always pick up the Nintendo Selects digital game for $20. Which brings me to the eShop, a great place to buy games and hang out. I'm going to be completely honest, I enjoy the 3DS eShop a lot more than the Switch eShop. The music, highlighted game categories, videos, virtual console, even the download screens were fun. I used to just sit there and download demos of games because it was fun to see the download screen. When you finish a game and the little gift shows up and you unwrap it to discover the game you installed, the eShop is so much fun to visit and encourages you to spend money without asking for a single cent. It's brilliant. And hey, Nintendo doesn't force you to spend a single penny with the built-in software. You got Swap Doodle, you got Face Invaders, you got AR cards, you got the Activity Log, you got Street Pass, you got a web browser, you got Nintendo Video, you even got the Mii Creator. There is so much to do as you booted up the console that still makes other systems look weak. How could you pass up a deal like Face and Raiders? I don't think I got a single game for an entire month when I got my 3DS, and I was still using it constantly. Well, that's the 3DS for you. Still a beast of a game system continuing to put a smile on my face. But just like everything else in life, it was time for it to move on. Sales were declining and it's obvious Nintendo hasn't touched it since the Switch launch. It's not like every single 3DS will magically stop working and disappear. But to see what was basically your childhood to be left in the dust by the people who invented it, it's hard to see. Rest in peace 3DS.